If you remember, just after we arrived on Tatooine, uh, we were ambushed by this group of three Dark Jedi. And they did something horrible to Mission, which has burned itself into Goof of his head. Because he's out for re revenge against Sith now, definitely. Now it's personal. And somebody told me, more, uh, a couple of you guys actually told me, that what they used on Mission was quite um, probably fear. So I think he... Um, I think what this is about, the Goofus wants to wants revenge on Dark Jedi and the Sith in general, and since they hurt Mission, he wants to hurt them just as well. And if it's fear what they use, then he's going to want to do that to them. So... Cowering in fear. Okay. Good. <coughs> Alright, little droid. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. Goody. My restraining boat will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? <laughs> Kill something for me? Oh, he likes this guy. Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. <laughs> command, of course, Master. Man! Goofeth loves him. Travel with me now and never leave me. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Right. Okay. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Alright, Goofleth is very eager to see. Wait a second. Sure. No. Master? <laughs> he loves that guy. Look at him! You guys were right? This guy's just the bee's knees. Okay, he's a combat droid, which is cool. Actually, I thought he was just like a protocol droid because he's translating and everything. But yeah, good strength, decent intelligence and dexterity. <laughs> and he's on the dark side. How a droid would be able to get on the dark side of the, of the forest is beyond me, but it's Great, Goofeth isn't alone anymore. Okay. What are his skills? It's good to know because he's going to be one of the persons he takes out to the to the desert and Um Alright, he's he's good in repair. And security. Okay. Hmm. It's good to know that he's good in combat, but he's not going to max out awareness. He wants droids to be really, pretty much useful at everything technical. So he's definitely going to... No, not security. Mm, oh well. He should be good at computer use, really. It's a droid after all. It's a classical, right? Right. Okay. Hmm. Probably, oh, strength. It seems good enough. Constitution could be a bit higher for a combat droid. Or oh, him being a droid. Hmm. Skill points would be youth useful for him. More skill points. Yeah, so. And again. Yeah. Okay, and. Another two in computer use. And another two. Okay. I think he's going to be primarily a ranged character, even though he's got a decent strength. Yeah. Deer head, just for the skill points.
I don't know, wait, what? Wait a second. Oh, I just saw that. How silly of me. I wanted to see his blaster rifle. Okay. Maybe we have something better. We'll see. And let's put two in security for a change. All right. Yes? Let's go outside. Oh, and I think on the way home, Goofith is going to chat a bit with 8K47 since he's very rapidly falling in love with him. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually something he would say to the droid. You don't need to call me. Because, really, the whole Master thing... He likes people that he hates calling him Master, but... Generally... He's an anarchist. He doesn't really like the whole Master situation. Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoy such forms of address. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but I'm not your master. Qualification. You are my master, master. Did you not purchase me legitimately? Am I stolen goods? Shall I report myself to the authorities? Yes, I did purchase you. Explanation. Then you qualify as my master and I must refer to you as such. The legal requirements for models of my type are very specific, Master. What type is that? Evasion. Who? <laughs> the illegal kind of model, Master. No. <laughs> there are legal requirements for illegal models? Answer. More than there are for legal models, apparently. That is meatbag logic for you. <laughs> Stop saying meatbag already! Apology. Sorry, Master. My optical sensors simply pick up all the water sloshing about inside your flesh coating. It is unpleasant. That's an image I didn't need. Commentary. Organic meat bags have such delicate staminas. Perhaps you should consider some cybernetic implants, Master. Not a bad idea. I mean, he already has one. Okay. So the droid's very decent in combat. Goofworth is actually very happy about that because HK-47 might just qualify for a position in the Protect Mission Squad. Which would be handy. But he's still not going to take mission with him. First of all because he doesn't know yet how good HK-47 is in combat. He needs to see that first. And second of all, because, well, not only is the desert dangerous, but also... Um... Yeah, he doesn't know what he's going to do with Mission's brother yet. And there's a good chance that this will again be a situation he doesn't want Mission to see. Alright. Alright. Thought it was gonna crash there for a minute. Okay. Now, first order of business. Oh, HK is over there. First order of business. Yeah, what do you want? Since he might just camp out in the desert for a while, he's going to need more stimulants. <laughs> Here's a. Is there anything? Yes. Here's a. Is there anything? Here's a. Is there anything? Hey, a real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. There anything else you need? Okay, that's not good. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Rufus doesn't like the fact that he... He's being cut off. Oh well. Then he's going to see if there's anything in the cargo hold that he needs. Ah! Found it. Okay. Um. 
Hmm. Yeah. That's actually... wait a second. The droid supplies. Good that I looked here. Let's see how we can outfit you. Okay. Bonus feed, weapon focus, blaster pistol. Well... What's better, the pistol or the rifle? Actually... Wait. Why can't I... I can't remove that, apparently. Oh. Or can I? Oh, good. Let's give that to you. <clears throat> it's not like he wants to punish T3 and 4 or anything, but um, really, T3 and 4 is just sitting here in the ship, and, and he's, uh, HK-47 is going to be outside, so it doesn't make any, any sense to, to have him keep all the good stuff. Flamethrower. No. HK-47 should have a flamethrower. And that as well. Okay. Which one was better? Let's see. Oh! Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a better idea to have him use the assassin pistol. He's better with it. The base damage isn't that much different, really. 1 to 8 and 3 to 6. Uh, the additional iron damage and um, the stunning. A little bit worse critical threat range, but still. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any droid parts left now? This is just crystals. And this is excess clothing. Ah, uh, wait a second. Clothes. Yeah, we have his lightsabers here. And yeah, no need to carry missions Vibroblade and Zalba Spellcaster around with me. And then there's that Yeah, that blaster rifle. I think having one of those stored here isn't such a bad idea. <clears throat> so we're good to go! Stacking up on supplies, I guess, too, for his trip to the desert. The good thing about the fact that HK-47 can be used for for specialist purposes is that now Goofus doesn't have to worry about who else he's going to take anymore. He doesn't need a specialist anymore, because in that case he'd have needed mission RT-3 and 4. He doesn't want to take the T3 and 4 because he's worried he might get broken.